hey y'all it's taste pink welcome back and girl we have a look we have a very super dramatic makeup look for today we have a cut crease and i'm bringing all the drama i asked you guys on instagram if you wanted a tutorial on this look and the majority of you guys said yes so i came to deliver so this look is featuring the matte book palette from the crayon case which i highly recommend so make sure you guys check that out and i'm beating my face with like eight dollar eleven dollar brushes i'm gonna have a lot of my faves linked in the description box so definitely check it out if you haven't already seen the tutorial for this look you definitely will need to go watch it sis because it's everything these marley twists rope twists havana twists whatever you want to call them everything hmm. okay so without further ado make sure you subscribe on the journey to 400k but let's get in to the video so i already did my brows off camera and so i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch concealer in 260 and i'm going to use this to define my brows and also create a blank canvas because i'm going to drag the concealer down to the base of my mobile lid and this is just going to help to create a more even look if you want a more dramatic more vibrant look i highly suggest creating that blank canvas and then next up i'm going into the crayon case this is the matte book palette and i'm going to take the orangish brownish eyeshadow and I'm going to start building the drama in the crease in the area of the transition because this is going to be super dramatic. We're going to bring the drama today, okay babe? Mm, I hope y'all know. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in Drop Dead Red. Now y'all know this to be like one of my favorite lipstick colors i always get so many compliments and you guys always want the tea this is what i'm going to use to create more drama and more intensity in the crease you want to go in with a more you know compact bristle brush to blend that out And to kind of set the matte liquid lipstick, I wanted to go back into the matte book palette and I'm going to take this sort of like brick red, it's like burgundy, a Bordeaux kind of color to just blend the liquid lipstick with the eyeshadow from the outside of the crease all the way into the inner corner of the eyes. Now, are y'all ready for the intense portion of this look? So to cut the crease, I'm going to use the P. Louise Base Zero. This is a white color. Now you can use colors that are close to your skin tone you can use a concealer along with a very flat and very very thin brush i'm going to take a little bit of the product apply it to the mobile lid but i'm also going to look up and this is going to tell me exactly where to cut the crease the size of your cut crease will always you know be based on how large your mobile lid is so don't be afraid if yours is a little smaller than mine this part is super time consuming so definitely take your time now once i've laid the color down i want to go in with this vibrant yellow that has a little bit of a gold undertone so it's not super vibrant I'm just going to take a very small and compact brush to pack this onto the mobile lid now I am gonna have to pick up quite a bit of eyeshadow to make sure that it is as opaque and as like intense as I like you may get a little bit of fallout don't be worried just keep laying that yellow down And I'm going to take my finger and go into the yellow eyeshadow and apply it directly to my lids. Now on to the face. As my primer, I'm going to apply the La Roche Posay Anthelios Clear Skin Sunscreen. And I just like using this, but it's so important to set it. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to just set the entire sunscreen because that's my little primer for the winter time. It would not work in the summertime, sis, so don't try it. And next I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and this is in medium 20. Honestly, this is my favorite foundation. I mean, it's $68. It is expensive, sis. It is not cheap, okay, in comparison to my $8 foundation like wet and wild but it is so gorgeous it's so beautiful i get a ton of compliments when i wear it and it just looks skin like in person and so and it also captures well in pictures 
such a great investment. Now to highlight the face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. And you know, just highlight the high points of the face. And you really wanna use that Sonia Kashuk Blending Sponge, which is one of my favorite sponges to use. Not Real Techniques, not any of the other ones, the Beauty Blender, that's $20. You can get like a five pack for $15 at Target. It's worth every penny and it lasts you so long. So I like to use that for my foundation and the concealer. Now as for the contour, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 360. This is Mocha and I want to chisel this face, okay? And you want to put it in the hollows of the cheeks, around the forehead, at the base of the chin. Wherever you feel is clever, work it out, sis. Just make sure that you blend for your life with the blending sponge and then follow up with a brush if necessary. Now it's time to set all of this cake, okay? We need to preserve the sexy and the glam of this look. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just gonna apply it everywhere I highlight it and just below my contour because it's important to make that pop even more if you want an even more chiseled and defined look. And because I'm not using a conventional primer, makeup typically creases a little bit more under the eyes, so you definitely wanna follow up with some sort of powder. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder in Warm Sun. On top of the Warm Sun, I'm gonna go in with that burgundy eyeshadow and smoke out the lower lash line. You know that creates a very sultry, very sexy look. I advise all of y'all to get into it because it will be very well received received you will have fans okay and next I'm gonna go in and use the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in Mocha to just set the contours that I already did and I'm going to then go in with the press powder in Warm Sun to just dust away any excess translucent powder because we want a nice clean bake and then don't forget to mist your face because you want to set everything once the powder has been removed and everything is where you want it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in black. This is bomb. This is from the drugstore. Y'all need to get this. I slept on this, but I love it. It is amazing, okay? Definitely get into it. And I'm going to be doing my signature wing liner. You know, this is where it all happens. This is where it all goes down. This is the drama of it all. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Tell me some of your favorite drugstore eyeliners to use. I like a very matte looking eyeliner. And I heard the Essence liner from Ulta Beauty is everything. So I'm gonna have to check that one out, but let me know yours below, definitely. And don't forget to use your mascara to kind of like really extend and intensify your look and also accentuate your natural lashes before applying falsies. I'm gonna be applying the IMV 3D Collection Chic 3D Lashes in the Style 20. These are super dramatic and they're gonna give you a look and they are available at the Beauty Supply Store for $4. You can't beat that with a stick, sis. Now, you know I have to go in with my favorite highlighters. I call them the Holy Trinity. It's three of them. They're bomb. I have them linked in the description. But, you know, I just really wanted to make myself glow. Because, you know, because when you glow, they want to know. Okay, let's get into it. And for the lip combination, I'm gonna be using the Crayon Case 
liquid lipstick in gumbo and I'm gonna use this to kind of outline the lips. You definitely wanna pucker your lips together. And then I'm gonna follow up with using the Too Faced Drop Dead Red Liquid Lipstick. And like these two colors blend together seamlessly. They look so bomb, everything. You can honestly just wear the Drop Dead Red alone or you can wear Gumbo by itself. They will both give you a gorgeous look. And lastly, I have to go in and do my jewels. So I'm gonna put these jewels on, give y'all life. Definitely subscribe to this video, thumbs up, share with your homeboys, your homegirls, kiki with me in the comment section, and join me, you know, we're on the journey to 400K. I hope to see you there, sis. The Slayer is gonna be serious in 2020.